Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Happy February! The time of love, romance, and simping. <laughs> welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So, today I have a treat. As per the month of love, I am, as usual, single. Yep. But to cope with my crippling loneliness for like the rest of my life, today I've decided to play a very special game. A dating sim about a very special little man that's had my heart for what seven years <laughs> if you haven't guessed by the title that's right ladies and gentlemen his name is bill cypher we are playing the bill cypher dating simulator oh boy oh boy oh boy i've been waiting to do this one actually for a while now so love triangle is a visual novel style dating simulator Blech. Love Triangle is a visual novel style dating simulator starring the man himself, Bill Cipher, from Disney's animated TV series Gravity Falls. And you, as his love interest. Finally! <clears throat> Sorry. Will you be able to win the heart of this chaotic interdimensional entity? Or perhaps, more importantly, what are you willing to surrender in exchange for it? Fucking everything! Take my soul! Alright, we're here. It's time. I'm keeping this one face on the entire gameplay. I'm serious. <laughs> Y'all don't understand the, the grip this man has on my soul. I've already sold it to him. Alright. Without further ado, let's do it. <laughs> can't believe I'm doing this shit. This game is rated T for teens and contains mild language and adult themes such as use of alcohol. Okay, kiddos, get the fuck out. You heard this. This is a mature teenage game with booze. Because booze is for adults, so get out. <laughs> Player discretion is advised. Oh boy, this is gonna get pretty saucy. I don't know if I might have to restrict this one. <laughs> All right, what you got, game? Ah, oh, gorgeous art. It was a warm July evening. The sun was just barely up, giving the pine trees around you a pinkish glow to them. After a long trip, you guzzle some water and wipe some sweat from your brow. <laughs> you were in Oregon, the place where the infamous Bill Cipher statue was. Oh God, do y'all remember? <laughs> that freaking statue. <laughs> Y'all really went on a fucking manhunt. And if I remember correctly, the freaking... <laughs> the statue that had of it was stolen. Which is hilarious to me. <sighs> That's great. And for the first time in your life, you're going to see him in person. That's right, baby. The simp gloves are on. I've been working my whole life for this one moment. All my dreams are going to come true. As you trot up the path that lay deep in the pine wood, you notice a small gray hand sticking out from the bushes. Oh, oh, it's happening. <laughs> Curious, you decide to take a closer look. It was him. Oh, my son. <laughs> what did they do to you? <laughs> oh, big spoilers ahead. I should probably have warned that beforehand. Yeah, um, <laughs> he dies, kind of, sort of, not really. I can't really explain it. He, he called the freaking axolotl. Shit was weird. He turned into a stone man, and now he's lost forever. <laughs> his statue laid there motionless. His body, somewhat cracked and patched with growing moss. His limbs mostly gone, all except for the hand he shook with Ford. Uh, <laughs> I like how they went, Ford, that bitch. <laughs> and his eye, probably as big as your head, it would seem, was all there. He searched around the area for a bit, seeing if the treasure chest was taken, or even if it was there at all. After all, you were the first to find him. After you found the treasure and the fake, seemingly meaningless gold coins, you stared at the statue and wondered what to do next. You received a fake gold coin in your bag. Hey, Capitalism! They strike again! <laughs> you end up taking pictures with the statue like any modern day person would. Afterwards, you stare at his thin, small hand. Before the hunt and the statue started, you remember the rules and said specifically not to shake the hand. I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Still, you can't help but wonder what happened if you do. Shake his hand. Yes, definitely, absolutely. She rigged it again. <laughs> absolutely. You decided as if you had as if you had any other choice to shake the hand. Duh. Uh-oh. 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 What happened? Within an instant, the statue grayed before your eyes, from a dull gray to a shiny gold. Ooh, ooh, too shiny, in fact, that you sort of had to shield your eyes from the sun gleam reflecting from it. Oh, oh, his form changed back to the way he was in the show. Let's go! Bow tie 
high top hat, his arms and legs, and most importantly, his big, <laughs> sorry, my mind went somewhere, his big somewhat cat-like eyes <laughs> was all shown before you. I need help. <laughs> when the transformation was complete, he floated close to the ground, wide-eyed and seemed frightened. It hardly seemed like he knew you were there. Oh. Ha 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 ha. I'm alive! Holy heck, I actually survived that punch! Yes, you did, you beautiful Dorito! There he is! The boy! <laughs> My husband! No, I'm not gonna go that far. That's cringy. He stared back at his hands, shaking from excitement until you backed away a bit and stepped on a small branch while doing so. I'm gonna offer up my whole soul lessy to this man in like three seconds. He flinched, now coming into the realization that he wasn't alone. Uh, ha. He stared at you, he stared through you, shocked and a bit scared. He waved his hand around to see how you'd react. He noticed your eye follow his hand. Ha, ah, so you can see me, huh? He mumbled to himself, his hand somewhat shaky. Guess I'm still in my physical form, even after all that mess. The demon blinks a few times, puffs his chest, straightens his bow tie, and speaks. Well, kid, you sure took your sweet time, but I'm glad you found me. Feels like I've been stuck in there for ages. He turns around and starts to float away, waving at you with one hand. Anyway, later, sucker! <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, he stuck to me! Yes! Oh, I'm gonna do so much weird shit with you! <laughs> Come here, bitch! Get over here! <laughs> When you both turn and look at your wrists, a faint glow of what looks like a transparent chain binds you to. Bill, now seeming to once again lose his composure, started to frantically free himself from the chain. No. <laughs> no, 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 no! I spent years stuck in this! I spent years stuck in this stupid rock! And now this?! As the dream demon panicked, you stood there and wondered what to do. Uh... I'm gonna laugh at him. You thought it was amusing seeing him get, <laughs> get out of- You thought it was amusing seeing him get out of one vine just to find himself stuck in another. You couldn't help but chuckle. He stopped trying to free himself from the chains and stamps. What? Is this funny to you? You think this is a joke? <laughs> you know what this chain means, right? some inclinations, but I, I shouldn't say so on here. Forgive me, children. <laughs> he held up the chains as if he was playing a bizarre version of show and tell. This means we're soul bound. Yes! <laughs> Bill, if you thought you were the real villain here, oh buddy, do I have some information for you? <laughs> it means... It means... I'm stuck with you for life. Yes! <laughs> Blessed days! Blessed days! He dropped the chain and had a most sinister look on his face, which seemed pretty difficult to tell since he had it all on his eye. Okay. He dropped the chain and had a most sinister look on his face, which seemed pretty difficult to tell since all he had was on his eye. I can make your life a living nightmare, or I can be your best friend. Is that a threat or a promise? Your choice. <laughs> yes. He, he floated up next to you and leaned his arm on your shoulder. He seemed cocky, and the more you were around him, the more you felt unwelcome. <laughs> well, since I'm stuck with you, I might as well get to know you. What's your name anyway? <laughs> I'm not even gonna fucking lie. So, also, what do you go by? You a guy, gal, no binary. <laughs> also, what do you go by? You a guy, gal, no binary pal? What? Aw, oh, we love the representation! Yes! <laughs> I am a wolf. So, if you're a girl, huh? Understandable. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Was such a good decision. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself for that. <laughs> oh god. Okay. <clears throat> so tell me, Simp. <laughs> what brought you here? <laughs> so tell me, Simp. What brought you up here in the first place? How did you know I was even here? Uh, a little birdie called Alan. 
as Hirsch told me. <laughs> he stood there quiet for a moment. How do you tell someone you've seen them because you knew them from the show? As it was, this whole, this whole scenario was too surreal to even believe what was happening. But as far as it was, it was happening. He started off, as you stared off into space, Bill started rummaging through your things and took out your purchased copy of the journal. <laughs> I actually, I actually did buy the journal. <laughs> I bought it twice, one for me and one for my best friend Alpha. Follow her; <laughs> she's really good. I'm gonna have her on the channel. Don't worry about it. Anyways, it's still in good shape. It even has the store button cover on it. Yes, I kept this cover. It's awesome. <laughs> Links in the description for that too. Go get one. Support the show. Anyways, oh ho ho ho! What have we? Huh? Why do you have a copy of Fordy's old journal? And why does it look? You. It's clear that he has no idea where he is or the fact that he is. <laughs> it's clear that he has no idea where he is or the fact of his existence to you. He's gonna learn eventually anyway, but after the event so far and the two events of break news, you're not really sure if he can take more to surprise him right now. I think he can. I mean, you know, he literally reassembles people's faces for fun. I think he can take a lot more. Tell him what's up, light him up and distract him. I'm gonna be real with him! Bill's a real guy! Look at his head! He's sophisticated, he can take it! You decided to tell him about the origins of the book, who wrote it, and why you know Bill in the first place. See? He floats there, staring strangely at you. So you're telling me that. Yeah, no. Oh, whoop. I came from a show. Yes, sir. You nod once more. That a man with a silly cozy and a love of <laughs> plaid made, and he made this stupid replica of a diary. Also, you nod for a third time. He seems to look at like, <laughs> you. nod for a third time. He seems to look at you like you came from a mental ward. <laughs> Very funny. So funny, in fact, that I don't really believe you. I'm telling the truth! Huh? Are we gonna get a move on? Oh shit, where are we going? Where are we going? As the twilight fades into the starry night, you notice that the events of you're experiencing right now can't be undone. Why would I want them undone, though? <laughs> What's the name of the simulator? You didn't really expect to be even out here for this long, but given the current events, it's not like there was anything you could do about it. Damn straight. You've noticed that Bill, the very being you're chained to, looks doubtful on the situation you both are in. He can't read. Even if he's a psychotic dream demon, and you've realized you've known him throughout the show, you realize that you may need to get to know the real him to gain his trust. Okay, okay. Alright, you start putting up some options. What we got? Alright, uh, how is he? Constellations? Hungry? Let's get what we got. Um... Snip your ass. You must have looked that up, didn't you? <laughs> you got me. You got me. After a small moment, you let out an awkward cough. <laughs> well, seems like any hopes of <laughs> him went down the drain. Damn it! No! <laughs> you try to think about something else that might work. Okay, fuck. Fuck! Okay, um. Alright, how is he? Try to ask the triangle how he is to, I don't know, give him some sort of comfort, I guess. 
eyes with a skeptical sort of look. What's it look like? I'm chained to a lifetime <laughs> I'm chained to a lifetime of misery thanks to you. It doesn't look too good now, does it? <laughs> it's probably not the best time to bother him about the uh, situation. Alright. You want a snack? <laughs> does Billy want a snack? <laughs> you asked Bill if he would like to get some grub or at the least eat something just for the sake of the travel. Bill rolled his eye. Oh wow, human food. I'd love to. Not. Well, that didn't work. What else? All right, well, let's just get to work then. Seeing as how no other option was useful in the slightest, you asked him that maybe it would be better to just get out of the woods. Yeah, yeah, seems like so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seems like the only good plan your head can come up with. Come on, let's wait. He's such a cutie. I'm sorry, y'all. Like, <laughs> for you anyway. Not for Bill. He, on the other hand, was completely phasing through everything that touched him. Everything, of course, except for the chains binding you two. It was strange. Somehow you two were chained together, and yet there was really no feel to it at all. Like it was some sort of hologram. As he led the way, you two were both <laughs> so busy and distracted in thought when suddenly you slipped over the edge of gravel below you. Oh, fuck. Right into a not-so-conveniently placed hole. Fuck. Bill reluctantly is pulled in and falls with you. Oh no! Hey! Hey, Simp! Watch out! After the initial shock of falling, the demon flusters as he tries to yank the chain up, but sadly was unsuccessful. Gah! Why won't you move? Oh shit. Bill, frustrated that all he could do was be pulled down by you, reluctantly was dragged down into what seemed like an endless hole. That's what she said. I'm sorry. This is supposed to be dramatic. I'm sorry. There was a good minute of yelling, mostly by your part and partially by Bill's, before the initial shock passed and your throat grew sore. Guess you were going to be here for a while. Did we fall down the infinite pit? Or the, <laughs> the bottomless pit? Okay. Cool. Cool. <laughs> You and Bill floated in the darkness after some good <laughs> Yes! You and Bill floated in the darkness, and after a good few minutes, you calm down some. After a bit of adjusting, the fall becomes easier, and you get used to it. I, I have dyslexia, by the way, so I'm gonna be fucking up a lot, so I apologize ahead of time. <clears throat> Anyways. The demon in front of you, of course, floated with ease, since he was so used to floating already. What? From his expiration... <laughs> From his expression, you could easily tell he was aggravated. <laughs> you good, homie? Bill blinked slowly at the question, looking at you foolishly. He's like, you dumbass. <laughs> yeah, perfectly dandy. I mean, we're stuck together for less than an hour, and somehow you managed to make us fall into a hole. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm apparently a klutz. <laughs> Which, thanks for that, by the way, I'm so grateful. <laughs> he scoffs as you float there in silence. Technically, well, <laughs> he's such a sass bucket. I love him. Technically, what all had happened wasn't really your fault, yet you couldn't help but feel he was blaming you for everything. But of course, he's a material girl. He's not responsible for anything. Guess you really should have been more careful. Yeah, you know, I'm sorry. I should have told the gravel to not move under my feet. I'm sorry. I, I should have purposely moved out of the way. The, the gravel should have moved out of the way, and, and I shouldn't have fallen. My bad. I should have told gravity to fuck off, Bill. <laughs> Before either of you could speak another word, from a small light illuminated below, the small circle of white growing bigger and bigger as you fell. Within moments, you remembered that you were still falling, and that there was a strong possibility that there will be a cold, hard growl, cold hard ground you'll meet at the end of it your instinctive reaction was to close your eyes and hold your head as, and scream as you fell for the inevitable yep here we go we're going to heaven <gasps> you immediately tugged the chain until you could grab onto him Ooh, i'm a little sneaky little little minx i'm sneaky he was a demon and could probably survive the fall but it was always better to save than sorry oh i'm protecting him <laughs> we protect the dorito plus you were pretty terrified and needed to grab onto something. Speaking of which, <laughs> I actually have a little bill. Like, I actually bought 
<laughs> the plushie. I'm gonna have him on my desk. I have him on my desk. I'm gonna have him sit next to me for the rest of this. Okay, there he is. I'm gonna take a picture of where he is right now, and then I'm gonna put it up on screen because he is my little baby Bill, little baby, little baby bear, little sugar something something. Okay, okay, okay. Back to the game. <clears throat> Screams filled the dark hole as you both fell closer and closer to your doom. Let's hope either of you survive this. Fingers crossed. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, no. Is that really the end? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> so, I forgot to mention that. <laughs> um. Wait. 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 Is that it? Is that really it? I'm sad. This game is kind of unfinished. Um, they stopped the production a while ago, I remember. I thought they did a little bit more, but okay. I guess that's it. We're gonna I'm gonna see if there's anything else, but Yeah. Uh no. Okay. Alright. <laughs> that's it! Uh, alright. Uh Okay, so that was Love Triangle. Um Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, links in the description if you want to play. I, <laughs> I didn't. I honestly didn't expect it to be this short. Um, <laughs> uh, my simpage for this man will never end. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody! I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next episode, video, whatever. Peace out. I might make a game like this on my own. I just gotta figure out how to. Would y'all be interested in in that? I think y'all would. Alright, later. <laughs>